Heavier ballistic vests will now better protect Austin police officers who come under fire. A sniper who killed five officers in Dallas last summer prompted calls for stronger bulletproof vests. Today, Austin police started handing out more than 950 vests for all frontline patrol officers. That new equipment is rated for rifle fire. The vests worn right now only protect against shots from a handgun or a shotgun. KXAN investigator Kevin Schwaller looks at the effort to get those heavier vests on officers statewide. Oh, he shoots at us. us. February 2015, officers in Austin's Air One helicopter realize a man with a rifle is targeting them. A SWAT sniper responds. Shot taken, suspect is down. Now these new vests are meant to help officers headed to standoffs or other dangerous situations. But it's nice to know we do have these events happen here that you have that, that level of protection. So. These vests have these plates inside. They're also heavier, so officers aren't going to be wearing them all the time. They're only going to be putting them on when they need them. We must protect our law enforcement officers at all costs. At the state capitol, both Democrats and Republicans are getting behind a bill to create a grant program to equip police across the state with heavier ballistic vests. Lawmakers are still working on how much money could be available. We're trying to get $25 million, but you know, you never know. It, it may be $10 million, it may be $50 million. At the cost of these vests, $25 million would outfit nearly 75,000 officers statewide. Kevin Schwaller, KXAN, investigates. Austin police paid more than $320,000 for the vests. The interim chief says the money came from money left over in the department's general funds. APD joining Round Rock, Buda, Leander, and Cedar Park as cities in Central Texas with vests for their patrol officers. Right now, state lawmakers are examining how many departments might need that grant money. A Travis County Sheriff's Office spokesperson would not say if deputies there have heavy duty vests. It's unclear if the county would seek or even be eligible to get grant money under the new bill. The funds would come through the governor's office. Governor Abbott recently cut off grants to Travis County after the sheriff limited participation with immigration officials. Still, another bill aims to limit money to so called sanctuary cities, it would prohibit cutting money for body armor. This afternoon